Hi, today we look at a more challenging question on permutations. How many arrangements are there of four letters of the word defeated? Actually, when it is about to arrange all the letters of the word, it is easier. But when we have to arrange a few of them, care needs to be taken. We would start first by looking at some basic notions about permutations and combinations. The fact that if you are dealing with arrangement of items, then permutations are involved. And when you are dealing with selection of items, then combinations are involved. It is also important to note that permutation implies selection. For the main reason that in order to arrange any set of items there is always the need to first select them that number that you need before you can arrange and so we would have to note also that to find the number of permutations of n distinct items taken out at a time we can actually start by first finding how many ways there are to select that R out of N items. And then now we multiply the number of ways of selecting by the number of ways of arranging those items that we have selected. Mathematically, we can present that number of permutations as the number of combinations or the number of selections times the number of linear arrangements of that number that we have selected and n combination r which gives the number of selections is defined as n factorial all over r factorial into n minus r factorial when you now multiply by r factorial which is the number of arrangements of those r objects that you have selected from n distinct ones you get now the total number of arrangements or permutations that are possible. Now you see that R factorial cancels R factorial and we are just left with N factorial all over N minus R factorial which actually is the formula for N permutation R. The formula for the number of permutations or arrangements of R distinct objects taken from a total of n to arrange now the situation would completely change if we are selecting those r items from n ones that are identical to each other in fact to select r items from n identical ones there is only one way you can do that be it selecting or arranging we take an example if we have a series of A's there are five of them here and we are supposed to pick an A or select an A from that list of five A's if I go into that list and pick any of the A's be it the first second third fourth or fifth I would only have one way of doing it because at the end when I look at what I've picked it is an A. Anytime I go there and pick a letter that letter will be an A. And So there is only one way because if you are going there and picking a letter and all the time the result is the same means that there is only one way you can do that thing. And that is it even when there are two selections you pick any two A's those in front the two a's in front or the first and the third the first and the last or whatever positions you have picked two a's at the same is the same results will still be there because picking any two a's and looking at them in your hand you would see two a's and nothing else so again the results are always the same whichever two a's you pick and once the results are the same, it means there is only one way you can perform that task. The same thing goes with the arrangements. If I go into that set of five A's, 
and I pick any three of them to arrange, I will discover that the number of arrangements will not change because any time I pick any of the three A's and look at them, I see only three A's and nothing else. When I change their positions, it is still the same. Three A's and nothing else. And so there is only one way that you can either pick a letter or many letters or arrange any two, three, four or five letters out of that set. There will only be one way. Now we go into the question proper. Now to solve the question, we start by looking at how many distinct letters are there in the word defeated. Actually, we have a D, an E, F, A and T. F, A and T appear only once in the word, but D and E have repeated. But there are two distinct letters, although they are repeating. So totally we have five distinct letters. The repetitions actually are two D's and three E's. And it's important to note, once we have this situation where we are selecting just a few letters out of a word and there are repetitions, there is the need to look at the possible cases that arise. The first case would be the situation where all the four letters that are being selected are distinct. That means there is no repetition in the number of letters that we have selected to arrange. So one selection that we can do is F-A-T-E. Those four letters are distinct. None of them is repeating. But the general number of ways of arranging four letters out of five distinct ones D E F A T, in which one of them is F A T E. We just have to arrange four items out of five distinct ones. So we can do that in five permutation, four ways, which gives 120 ways. If you want to talk about selections, then you can also talk of five combination four. That is, first, the number of ways of selecting four out of five distinct letters and then times 4 factorial number of ways that you can now arrange a selection of those four letters as demonstrated with the example FATE you will still have 120 ways so that is the number of ways for case 1 now for case 2 there is a possibility that 2 out of the 4 letters can be identical in the selection of those four letters that we need and this implies that one letter is repeated an example of such a selection will be e e t f the e's can repeat just like the d's can repeat we have three e's so two of them can appear in one of such selections just like two d's can also appear in one of such selections and so we should look first at how many possibilities there are of having a double letter in any of the words that we want to select out of the word defeated. So there are two possibilities of having a double letter, which is either EE -E or DD. And so we have to start now by looking at the number of ways we can first get a double letter. Remember, there are two of them, but we need just one of them to appear in that selection of four letters in case two. We can select a double letter from this lot in two ways. It's either I take EE -E or I take DD, which is simply two combination one because we are selecting. And then now we need two other distinct letters to join the double letter in order to make the four that we need. To select two distinct letters, we we'll go back to the set of the other four distinct letters there that are left because we had five distinct letters. In this our example here, E is chosen. Suppose E is chosen as the double letter, then D has to join the other three distinct letters for us to now select two of the others to join the double E 
and so we can select two distinct letters out of the four remaining distinct letters in four combination two ways then all the four letters that we have already selected can now be arranged in four factorial over two factorial ways take this example which is double e and then two other distinct letters so to arrange this one we have to take all the letters first there are four of them so four factorial all over two factorial because the e's have repeated the total number of ways of arranging the four letters in case two to multiply the number of selections of any double letter from the two that are possible times the number of selections of any two distinct letters out of the four that are remaining times the number of arrangements of those four letters selected and so we have two times six times twelve which gives 144 ways now there is another possibility of selecting the four letters whereby three out of the four letters are identical it means that we have one letter that appears three times and there is only one possibility of a letter appearing three times from the word defeated and it is e because we have three e's in that letter so one possible arrangement in which we can have three letters appearing is e e e t so we start by looking at the number of options that are possible in those selections and we note that there is only one option of a triple letter which is e e e the triple e can be selected in one way and one other letter now can be selected from the rest of the four distinct letters which are d f a t in four combination one ways then all the four letters can be arranged in four factorial all over three factorial ways as we have already seen the selection one possible selection of triple e would be where there are three e's and then another letter the arrangement of those four letters can be in this number of ways so the total number of ways of arranging the four letters in case three will be one times four combination one times four factorial all over three factorial which is one times four times four giving 16 ways so there is one last possibility which is the case where two different letters are doubled eg ee e, and dd it is possible to have two d's and it's also possible to have three e's since the E's, the three E's are the same, there will be only one way of taking two of them to come and make an arrangement. So it doesn't affect the number of ways of getting two E's and two D's. There are two possibilities of having a double letter, which are E, E and D, D. And actually, the number of ways of getting two double letters from that lot is just one way because it is two combination two there are two of them and we need to select all of them once that is done we now have a complete set of four letters already selected from that word defeated and so none of the other three distinct letters which are actually uh, it should be sorry this is not d because d already is in the double letter the two double letters so this should be a the other distinct letter is a not d sorry so a f and t will be the others that are left and we don't need any of them again because the two double letters have made it for the number we require and so it's like just selecting none of them so three combination zero which is just one way of selecting none of the other letters you can now arrange the four letters that are selected in four factorial all over two factorial times two factorial ways because one possibility is e e d d so to arrange this setup here it is four factorial 
over 2 factorial times 2 factorial because there are two e's and there are two d's so the number of ways for case 4 would be 1 because there is only one way of selecting a double uh, two double letters from two possibilities times 4 factorial all over 2 factorial times 2 factorial times 1 yes the number of ways that we cannot select any other letter again to join the four that are already there which is just one way which gives one times six times one and it gives six ways so total number of ways of selecting four letters from the word defeated would be equal to the number of ways for case one plus the number of ways for case two plus the number of ways for case three and finally plus the number of ways for case four which gives totally 286 ways thanks for watching and see you in the next video